space. Vast, infinite, but not as empty as you might think. The Earth's orbit now flooded with man-made trash, threatening space missions, critical satellites, and even life on Earth. One solution, futuristic robots designed to go into space and take out the trash. We got a rare look in Switzerland at the mission named Clear Space One, including this darkroom designed to mimic space. Engineers are training the robot's camera to see the debris it's supposed to catch, even when it's in shadow. One of the hardest parts of the mission is lining up the robot precisely with debris that is flying through space at more than four miles per second. The next challenge, building giant robot claws to trap the trash. I'm putting on a special clean suit to make sure we don't contaminate the clean room behind me. This black contraption represents part of an old satellite or piece of space junk. Four massive arms like this white one will form the claw, closing around it in outer space. If you ever played that claw game where you have to grab the stuffed animal, imagine that, but doing it in outer space. The robot designed to drag the trash back toward Earth, where smaller objects will burn up in the atmosphere, larger ones dropped safely in the ocean. Is it better to have this trash fall into the ocean than it is to just stay in outer space? So yes, it is better because those objects in outer space are essentially projectile that orbit at 28,000 km per hour. They go multiple times the speed of a bullet. A global race for solutions is on. In addition to the space clot, one design uses a net, another a harpoon. There are thousands of old satellites drifting through space and more than a million smaller objects, threatening satellites and even spacecraft, which could have catastrophic consequences. Houston, this is like in the 2013 movie, Gravity. This year, a piece of American space debris smashed into a Florida home. Local TV station WANK spoke to the shocked homeowner. It almost hit my son. I was shaken. I was uh, completely uh, in disbelief. At the European Space Agency's Operations Center in Germany, technicians work 24-7 tracking space debris that could threaten Earth. We think we have to act. However, if we don't do it, then we make it impossible in the future to use space as a resource. For Clear Space One, the first mission is set for 2027. It's a moonshot, to be sure, to clean up a mess of galactic proportions. Josh Letterman, NBC News, Switzerland. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.